Hi guys, so today I have an Ulta haul. Obviously, I went in for a few things that I needed and left with a lot more than I intended to buy. So I decided to go ahead and film everything I bought. I realized that I actually didn't have a lot of drugstore products and I felt like I kind of needed more. Um, I also thought about filming a video using Just Drugstore products, so I definitely wanted to go out and buy some, try some, and see what I really like before I film that for you. So I decided to do that and now I'm here just showing exactly what I picked up. So I'll go ahead and get started. The first thing I'm gonna show you is this NYX, or NYX, however you say it, contour kit. You actually get eight colors in here, which is mo more than most contour kits. And I actually don't have any contour kits from like a drugstore brand. So I really thought that I could use one of these. I heard really good things about it, so I decided to give it a try. The next thing I got was also from NYX. Um, my favorite, you know, loose powder, translucent loose powder is always the Laura Mercier, but I decided to give a drugstore one a try. So I picked up this NYX one, and I found that I prefer like loose powders um, for translucent powder, for setting powder, than pressed. Because I use so much of it, I find that I get more product in one like this. And I don't know, I like NYX products, so I decided to try this one setting it under my eyes for my concealer and just setting my foundation and this one says the NYX HD Studio Photogenic Finishing Powder so I'm excited to try that. I'm realizing that I picked up a lot of NYX stuff and I, that wasn't planned but my next thing is the NYX eyebrow pencil so in the color brown and this is a dupe for like the um, Anastasia Brow Definer, and then I would probably use this alone without any powder, without a pencil beforehand. Um, and it has a little brush on the other end, so I'm excited to try this out. And I don't have any other, um, I think I only have like one other drugstore brow, brow um, product, and that's a powder. And I wanted to try a pencil, so I'll give this one a try. Next thing was just a replenishment. I love the NYX um, lip liners and I bought the one in natural. I also love the one mauve and I think there was like a nude pink but I was out of this natural one so I wanted to just get a new one. I love this one because you can really wear it with anything whether you're wearing nude pink. Um, it's just a really good liner to wear with anything or even alone so that's why I picked up this one. Again I really love these. Next thing I got are just some extra lashes. Um, this is the twin pack of the Ardell 105s. These are my more dramatic lashes. Uh, I spoke about my 122s in my last video, but those are a little bit more natural than these. Those you can wear dramatic or natural, but these I would say are just you know dramatic. They're definitely not a daytime lash. If you wanna wear these, you definitely wanna wear them at nighttime if you're going to an event or a party, but I do really love these. Also a replenishment of my Maybelline Age Rewind Concealer in light. Um, I always rebuy this as soon as I'm out of them. Sometimes I'll even buy two at a time just because I love it and it's just always like my go-to concealer. So I just needed to make sure that I had a new one of it. So yeah, I love this one. The L'Oreal Infallible, oh my gosh, this sun. Please don't mind it. <laughs> Next thing I picked up was the L'Oreal Infallible um, Foundation up to 24 hour foundation. I got the shade 209 Caramel Beige. I actually wanted to get the matte one. It's um, The other one is called Pro Matte and this one's Pro Glow. I actually wanted to get the matte one, but I figured almost all my foundations that I have are very matte. And you know, sometimes it is nice to go for like a dewy um, finish. And in any case, I always set my makeup with translucent powder with, you know, some sort of powder. So I figured I might as well give one a try. I heard great things about this and um, I'm really excited to try it. And this also has SPF 15, so that's good to know if I want to wear it during the day. Next thing I picked up was some Biore strips. I love these. I got the 14 combo 
These are for both the nose and the face. Sometimes I like to cut the face ones and I'll like put half of it here and half of it here or you know I'll use it just like where I feel like I need it most on that day. I really feel like these work. Um, I'm almost obsessed with them. I feel like I use them way more than necessary or way more than like you're supposed to. But like when you take them off you really see how much you know like it pulled out. I love these and I think it's like the easiest way to like really remove blackheads. And they're kind of fun to use, so um, yeah, love them. Love, love, love. Next thing, I almost dropped that. Next thing is um, I got a Real Techniques powder brush. I have other Real Techniques brushes, so I knew that, you know, like I've liked this one. I never feel like the bristles fall out. Um, they're really, you know, they after I wash them, they kind of go back to exactly the way they were. They're really, really good brushes, and I felt like I needed a new, like, all over powder brush. The one I have, um, I've just had for like a while and I use it every time I do my makeup. So I just wanted a new one and this one um, is just like big and fluffy. So yeah, I'm excited to use it. Ugh, I love new things. <laughs> and then I also picked up my favorite dry shampoo. This one is the Batiste and I get the original one. I've gotten the one for like brunette before, but which has just a little bit of brown color, but I feel like it's not necessary. Um, I rather, you know, just use a little bit of the original one and even though it comes out white sometimes I just brush it out and it kind of disappears and also it comes with like a free little uh, sample size so like that's good for like traveling or if you need to go somewhere. Um, so yeah, I just you know, got this again. I ran out of it and I really do love this. I've tried a lot of dry shampoos but this happens to be my favorite and I always go back to it. I always go back to uh, buying it. It's like pretty inexpensive and... Plus, I got this free little uh, travel size one. I don't know. I love it. So, the next thing I got, I am so, so, so excited for the next two things. They're probably my favorite things out of everything that I got. I got the new Urban Decay All Nighter Foundation. I got the shade 7.75. Um, full coverage, long wear, matte finish, waterproof, oil free. I am so excited to uh, try this. I like have a lot of foundations and a lot of matte finishes and that's just really my go-to. I love matte and I love full coverage. I'm planning to only use this like when I'm going out. The bottle is super cute too. I'm going to open it and show you. Um, looks like this and it has, you know, the usual pump at the top, but I really love this. I'm so excited to try it out. Um, it looks super, super like full coverage and um, it's meant to like last all night so I really am not planning on wearing it during the day I'm only planning on wearing it when I go out a party a wedding things like that so but I'm super excited I heard such great things about it and I've seen people actually wear it and their skin just looks so smooth and so nice and um, I want to use this like ASAP so last but not least I wanted this so bad um, I saw this in the store like a while ago and I really wanted it and I was gonna buy it but it was actually broken like I think it was like a return or something and like someone had broke it or you know swatched it and it was all like gross so I wasn't obviously gonna buy that one so I was so excited to see this in the store I opened it to make sure no one touched it this time and this is beautiful so this is benefit it is called the Cheek Nation, and it has one, two, three, four, five um, blushes. Well, actually, it has like four blushes and one bronzer plus a brush. I could get it out. Um, I was so excited for this because I feel like, you know, sometimes when you like travel, first of all, I love the Hula bronzer to begin with. And also like when you travel, you kind of don't want to like take 500 different blushes, 500 different bronzers. And this is just really nice. So it comes with the Dandelion, the Hula, the Rockateur. The Rockateur has like shimmer in it. It's like super like sparkly. It's almost like a highlight. You can kind of use it as both like bronzer, highlight, blush. It's pretty sick. And Dallas and Coralista. So, and then plus the brush. So you don't even need to take a separate brush. I was so excited to see that this they had this in store and in stock. And I just couldn't leave it. So 
I bought that and I'm super excited to use it and I'm super excited to travel with it whenever that may be. But it's just like really nice and yeah, I'm excited to use it. I'm sure I'll be using it in a tutorial soon. After filming my Ulta haul, I actually went back and picked up a few more things and I wanted to make sure that I included them in this video. So the next thing that I got is my favorite um, NYX liquid liner. A lot of people always ask me which one I use. They have like two liquid liners that have like the same little like bristle where it kind of dips in and then you, um, you know, use the liquid from there. This one is the collection Noor one. The other one that I used, um, it's called I think like the matte one. To me, they're both very, very similar. I just really love like the applicator on them. But I usually, if they have this one in stock, this is usually the one that I go to buy. When I was picking up the black liner because I needed a new one of it, I saw these, the Vivid Brights, and they have the same applicator, the one that I prefer to use. And I actually love using like a blue cobalt liner. And I wanted to just give this one a try. And this one is in the shade Vivid Sapphire. And that's what the color looks like. So it is um, like a cobalt blue. And it's drying pretty quickly actually, which is nice when you're using liquid liner because you don't want to, you know, blink and get have the liner get everywhere. So it looks super nice. The next thing I got was my uh, lash glue. I love this one. This one's my favorite one. It's the clear white. I prefer to use the one that just dries clear. Like using a black one, I feel like it just comes out too thick and then i rather just go back with my, you know, liner if I need to fix something rather than use a black lash glue. This is just my favorite. And this is the packaging it comes in. I used it already so I took it out of the packaging but I wanted to just show exactly how it comes. The next thing I picked up was the Tar Park Avenue Princess Bronzer. Um, I love this. I find that it like lasts long. I've had this like a while ago and then I decided to rebuy it. Um, it is a really nice bronzer. It has a tiny bit of shimmer in it, but it's not anything overpowering and not too sparkly. So I love this. I love just to bronze up my cheeks. Um, not so much for contour, but just like a light bronzer. This is what it looks like. The packaging is super cute and it's just a little bit shimmery. So that is all for my Ulta haul and I'm really excited to try all these products and I do want to make a video using Just Drugstore products soon so I'm happy that I picked up a bunch so I can try them out and see what I like beforehand and um, yeah, I know you guys are sick of hearing it, but if you guys like my videos and if you want to see more, if you want to let me know what you want to see, just comment and um, yeah, I'll make more. <laughs> so thank you for watching and I will see you guys next time.